Hi guys, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Ultimate Spider-Man vs. Sinister Six Kid Arachnid. So just to tell you, this is not Spider-Man, this is Moltz Morales. And here's the others they can collect, as you can see there's Agent Venom, Scarlet Spider, and another one of those. It is for age 4 and up, and it is from Hasbro. So let's unbox him. I really like Arcanic here because he's way more detailed than Spider-Man itself and he looks more muscly even though he's younger. So here it is. So here it is. Now I have to mention, mention this, that he comes with this shooter. So that red stick like actually goes inside that black thingies and it actually shoots so I can't wait to see that. So here it is, out of the box. So I tried to stand him by himself, but it looks like he doesn't actually stand by himself much. But only if you actually put it very carefully, because if we just go like this, they actually use the fall. So you have to make sure you're actually pressing his toes and his leg, otherwise it doesn't really work all the time. But, well, other than that, he does stand up only. So this is the accessory and this is meant to be the web and this is like the shooter and I don't know um if this like fits him but or we meant to like yeah I think we like yeah you know kids usually have imagination or something but I think you can also do it by yourself so all you have to do is to put this in the hole and see that bumpy bit you have to make sure it goes in and um, if you do want your spider-man toy or arcanid thingy to use this then you put their hands underneath here through the circles and then just pretend they're shooting webs or something but anyway let's have a try out and test this out okay so let's try it out so all you have to do is to push this thing and then Oh, that was a bad shot, but let's try it one more time. Let's just put that through. And all you have to do is just push this. And there you go. So let's do an articulation check. So because he is an actual figure, of course he would have many articulations compared to the other small decorations Spider-Man. But let's see what type of articulation does he have. Now, he doesn't have it in his um, ankle here. That usually happens in action figures like this, so they can actually stand very well, but he does have it in his knees, as you can see. Um, he doesn't have it in his hand over here, but he does have it in his elbow. We have another articulation in his shoulder here, and on his head as well. So, um, I think that's basically all his articulations. Oh yeah, he does also have this one so he can actually sit down. Um, but let's now do a comparison to one of our smallest Spider-Man figure. So here we've got our connected and um, let's put him over here. And over here we've got the original Spider-Man, Peter Parker inside. So there's a very big size different because this is a way small figure. This is not really a, you know, an action figure really, but because he doesn't actually move his knees or his ankle or even his elbows or his hand. Um, but anyway, that's because he's a small one and he's less cheaper. And this guy is actually an actual action figure and he's bigger. So that's like, um, so as you can see, there's size difference. They're very different. And, um, if you can I think I like this guy better because, as you can see, the spider at his back, it's, it's not very, like, Spider-Man-like. And this guy's, like, more like a Venom, um, type of spider. But anyway, this, this Spider-Man also has a smaller spider, so... You can really see the difference, but they both have abs and many muscles. So the story about this Spider-Man is behind it. So 
Spider-Man went to this, like, different dimensions, and then he met this kid, Arcanic, and he decided to help him, so that's basically the story. So thank you, guys. That was it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more Marvel Ultimate Spider-Man and many other toys. I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe, like, and comment.